वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैप्टर 21 वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल विजुअल बेसिक फॉर एप्लीकेशंस बेसिक टू एडवांस्ड वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस चैप्टर आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू राइट द वीवीए कोड फॉर द सबमिट एंड क्लियर बटन ऑफ द यूजर फॉर्म इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर वी लर्नड क्रिएटिंग द यूजर फॉर्म फॉर डेटा एंट्री लेट मी शो यू द यूजर फॉर्म दैट वाज क्रिएटेड बाय गोइंग टू द विजुअल बेसिक हियर यू सी दिस इज द यूजर फॉर्म वी क्रिएटेड इन द लास्ट चैप्टर let me click on this user form then run it here you see the user form is activated let me put here some dummy values then click on the submit button nothing happens because no code is written for the submit button if i click on the clear button nothing happens because no code is written for the clear button so in this video i'll show you how to write the code for submit and clear button so that the values in these text box and combo box will go in the excel sheet let's get started first of all create a sheet for submitting the data of user form for that let me rename this chapter 21 sheet and put the name is database in this sheet the data will be submitted now put here the column headers required for the data after making these column headers required then go to developer tab visual basic then open the user form here click on the user form first of all you have to rename the text box combo box and the button's name to see the name click on any text box right click then click on properties here you see the name of this text box is given as text box 1 if you click on this second one it is text box 2 If you click on the button it is given as command button 1 while writing the vva code these default names may create confusion because we may not know this command button 1 is referring to which button so you can put here a relevant name for example i am deleting this name and putting here btn_submit for this update button let's put the name is button_update similarly for the delete button put the name of btn_delete and for the clear button btn_clear clear button btn underscore clear. similarly for these text box and combo box put the relevant name here you can put tb_date for income expenses put the name is tb_income expenses for expenses category this is a combo box so put here cmb underscore category for the amount it is tb underscore amount and for the remarks it is tb underscore remarks the next thing you have to check is the tab index order of each control buttons to check the tab index click on this first text box scroll down this properties window and here you see the tab index is given as 1 it means when you initialize the user form the first selection will be the date text box check the tab index of another text box which is given as tab index 3 so in this case we have to change this to tab index 2 so let me change this to 2 so that when the tab key is pressed the second selection will be this text box check the third one the tab index is given as 13 so make it 3 for the amount change the tab index to 4 for the remarks make the tab index of 5 you can also put the tab index for these buttons so that when you press the tab key in keyboard the selection will move on sequence for that click on the submit button and change this tab index to 6 for update it will be 7 for delete it is 8 and finally for the clear button the tab index is Nine. After setting up the tab index, now if you run this user form, 
here you see the first selection is in the date field if you press the tab key in keyboard here you see the cursor moves to the second text box when you press tab key it goes to third and when you keep on pressing tab key here you see that selection goes on sequence after setting up the relevant name and the tab index for each control buttons now let's start writing the code for the submit button to write the vva code for submit button double click on the submit button which will open this coding window for the submit button here you see private sub button underscore submit click now here we have to write the code to send the information of user form to the excel sheet first of all we have to define here the sheet where the data will be sent to define the worksheet for sending the data write this code here dim sh is worksheet press enter now set up the value for this sh variable so put here set sh equal to this workbook dot sheets open bracket double quotation then put the sheet name that is database so put here database double quotation bracket close now press enter the next thing we have to identify here is the last row which has the data because every time we submit the record from the user form we have to identify what is the last row that has the data in the sheet after identifying the last row of the data then we have to enter the data in one row below the last row for example currently this row number one has the data and when we send the information from user form the information should be entered here in the row number two when there is data till row number two then the information should be filled in the row number three for that we have to now define here the last row variable so put here deem last row or you can also write here lr only to make it short dim lr is long press enter then define the value for the lr variable by using the count a function so put here lr equal to application dot worksheet function dot count a open parenthesis in this argument one of the count a function provide this column a of the database sheet which is given by sh dot range double quotation then put column a to a double quotation bracket close bracket close this sh variable is referring to this database sheet because here we have created this sh variable to reference this database sheet now this code will identify the last row that has the data press enter let me show you here how does the count a function works in this cell let me use count a open bracket then select this column a close bracket and press enter here you see the last row that has the data is row number one if i add here more records in this case the last row that has the data is row number five so this line of code will keep on identifying the last row every time a new record is submitted let me delete these values for now go to vv again now to send the data of this date field here in the a2 cell we have to write the code in this way sh dot range double quotation column a double quotation and then put here this lr variable lr plus one this plus one is because we have to go to the next cell from the cell where there is data currently we have data in the row number one so we have to go to this row number two to put the data from the user form so this plus one is given here now close bracket dot value equal to then put here me dot tb date select the text box name for the date dot value now press enter now this code will put the value in this date text box here in the a2 cell let's test this code by going here in the user form one run this user form put here a date for example march 2nd 2025 
now if i click on this submit button here you see the date is put here in this cell if i click on the submit button again here you see the second record is submitted if i click on this the record keeps on submitting to the sheet close the user form then delete these values go to visual basic double click on this submit button now here we have to write the code by following the same method for other columns now for the second column you can simply copy this code Control c to copy Control v to paste then just change this column reference to column b and change this text box date to the another text box that is me dot tb income expenses dot value press enter now for the remaining three columns create here a copy of these codes three times then simply change this column reference to column c for the expenses category there is a combo box so here we have to use me dot combo box category dot value for the amount column change this column reference to column d and change the text box to me dot tb amount dot value for the last column change this to column e and the text box name to me dot tb remarks dot value after writing these codes to send the data of the user form to sheet let's go to the user form again click on the user form and run it here in this user form if i click on this expenses category combo box the category list is empty so we have to add here the category list to select the category name from the list to add here the category in the combo box close this user form then double click on this user form this will create this user form click sub procedure change this click sub procedure to initialize by going here in this drop down then select the initialize option and here you see user form initialize sub procedure is created just delete this click sub procedure now between the user form initialize procedure we have to write this code to assign the values for the combo box so the code here will be with me dot combo box category then press enter press the tab key dot add item space then put here double quotation then put the first category name for example household double quotation press enter to add the next expenses category put here dot add item space double quotation let me put here education double quotation press enter following the same method you can add here more category items after adding all the category items in the combo box now press the backspace key here then type end with then press enter now if you run the user form the category combo box will have the items let me go to the user form click on it and run it then click on the expenses category combo box here you see the items are given from which you can select the items let me add here one record after entering all the records here click on the submit button and here you see the first record is submitted to the sheet and after submitting the first record to the sheet the text box should become empty for the second record to automatically clear this text box for the second record we have to now write the additional codes for that close the user form then again double click on the submit button and below this code we have to write the further codes that is me dot text box date dot value equal to blank blank is given by this double quotation twice then press enter then put here second text box that is me dot text box 
income expenses dot value equal to blank here in all these codes you may notice the word me this me word is actually referring to the user form one or the current user form where we are working so to refer to every text box combo box or the control buttons of the user form we have to put this me dot now use here me dot combo box category dot value equal to blank me dot text box amount dot value equal to blank me dot text box remarks dot value equal to blank now this part of the code will clear all the text box and combo box after submitting the record to the sheet let's go to the user form again run the user form then put here a new record now click on the submit button here you see the second record is submitted to the sheet and the text box became empty now the form is ready for entering the third record next is we have to write the code for the clear button because sometimes when we entered some record here and we may need to clear this record without submitting in that case we can use the clear button when we click on the clear button the text box should become empty without submitting the record for that close the user form then double click on this clear button this will open the coding window for the clear button here you can simply copy and paste this part of the code copy this and go here in this clear button procedure then paste the code here by pressing ctrl v now double click on the user form then run this user form write here some values then if you have to clear this without submitting you can click on the clear button and here you see the box become empty so in this way we write the vva code for the submit button and clear button of the user form in the next chapter we will learn how to display the data in user form using list box because to use the update and delete buttons we have to first display the record of the sheet here in the user form so here in the user form we will create a list box where the records will be visible and by clicking on a specific record we can modify or update it or delete it if you want to practice this you can download the sample workbook file from the video description below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up by hitting on that like button if you are visiting this channel for the first time consider subscribing to get similar video updates in future thank you so much for watching see you in next chapter